Hey folks, I wanted to go through some of the recent changes, just so you're aware of any changes to the annotation tool in the Red Brick platform. So the first thing that you should be aware of is that the process for performing masking has been updated. So if I have an instance here, instead of um, toggling thresholding on the top left, we've now moved it to the right side panel alongside other masking operations. So the thresholding works exactly the same. You can toggle it using the same shift Q hotkey. Um, in addition, we've added other options here for controlling how you annotate. So first is which area is editable. So either everywhere in the image or inside of all the segments. So just to give you an example of a use case for that, if I um, first turn off the restrict by pixel intensity, then uh, perhaps I'll use that. So let me segment the ventricles and use that as a initial segmentation. And then perhaps for this application, what I want to do is inside of all segments, I want to overwrite. So what I do is I can create a new instance unlock this instance and now I can segment all the way outside and I'll only overwrite inside of all segments. Now if I lock this entity and then try to segment, nothing will happen and you'll see a warning popped up just so you don't get confused. So by default you want to segment everywhere and only overwrite unlocked segments. You can also control overlapping here. Okay, so that's the new masking panel. Additionally, um, windowing has moved into the visualization panel here, and this works exactly the same. You can control outlines, visual pixel interpolation, invert the image, all of the same controls that you had before. They're just here in this panel. And again, the hotkey for that is still shift W to open and close that panel. So next minor thing is the brush tool preview. So as you'll see, this preview now has correct pixel outlines. So as I segment this, either with restricted pixel intensity or without, you'll see the accurate outlines of the segmentation. So finally, a uh, minor change here is we renamed instances to entity, and this is to avoid confusion with exported data because the instance IDs here don't exactly match up to what's listed. Okay, so a couple of new features to highlight here. First is the segmentation smoothing tool. So this works by left click to remove valleys and right click to remove peaks. So if I have a uh, more noisy annotation, maybe something like this, I can select the smoothing tool. Maybe I'll increase the number of pixels to change so I get a stronger effect. And if I left click, it mostly fills in those holes. And if I right click, it sort of smooths out those larger, more spindly bits. So again, that's left click sort of filled in those holes in those valleys and right click move those spindly bits and I can reduce the pixels to change to have less of an effect. Okay, next tool is the dilate erode tool. So this works similarly so I can left click to dilate, right click to erode. And again, I can modify the number of pixels to add or remove. Next is the Boolean operator tool. So this combines a number of features. So first is add. So what add allows you to do is first take your selected instance, your selected entity, and then you hover over another entity, another segmentation to copy it, or in this case, add. So I've added all these pixels in this segmentation. If I hide the edema, then you can still see the existing ventricle there. 
I can also subtract. So now this takes the ventricle and subtracts that region. So it just removed that area I added because they do opposites. Finally, there's copy, which makes an exact copy of the selected uh, entity. So now you see I have both the ventricle and the edema um, both in the same area. So there's now a um, option to also do merge. So for example, let's say I segment the ventricles in two regions like this. Oops, no. want to create a new entity and now segment these. So now I can use the merge operator to select the other instance and merge that together. So now you can see it, it's actually one instance and I'm safe to delete this other entity. Okay, so um, another feature is the cuboid tool, which allows you to do a 3D cuboid um, on, your, on your image. And finally, the version explorer, which allows you to explore older versions of your segmentations. So you can see this is from a couple of minutes ago. And this actually doesn't have any segmentations in it. I can go to an older one, maybe from an hour ago. And you can see on this slice, actually, I have these segmentations. I can show and hide an entire, um, an entire version or I can actually go ahead and restore these annotations so that now these are the ones I'm annotating. Final change to the new version is on how you create and edit taxonomies. So what you can do now is add nesting into your structure here and actually rearrange the order of your objects or the attributes that exist inside of your objects. Additionally, you can add hints. So, the ventricle is in the center of the image, right? You can, this is full HTML. So what you can do is host images um, on another server and then embed those right here as examples. You can also add a folder. So this is, maybe these are just all my segmentations here. Now I can add these objects into this folder. Go ahead and save that. I can also rearrange the attributes. If I had multiple attributes, then you can drag and drop these to rearrange. So I'll just go ahead and save that. And now go back to the annotation. And you can see here's my non-segmentations. And then now here's my segmentation entities inside of the uh, the folder here. And you can do multiple levels of nesting if you need, and this can really help to organize. Um, this also applies to classifications, so you can organize those. And the entity with an attribute here. So you can see these are rearranged. Okay, so that's our, our new updates for October. So I hope you check these out and enjoy the changes for the better. Thanks.